This is Dr. Kurt Samlaska. I'm going to be talking to you about Althera, also known as Altherapy, Aesthetic Ultrasound. Part 1 will go over the science behind it and some of the physics. Part 2 will be a review of some good before and after photographs and some further examples on the device itself. Aesthetic ultrasound is an energy-based facial aesthetic technology. Laser therapy, intense pulse light, and radio frequency can all provide skin tightening through treatment of the dermal portions of the skin. Ultrasound, however, not only can provide skin tightening, but it also can provide skin lifting by targeting deeper fascial planes that cannot be reached by these other devices. Ultrasound is sound at frequencies higher than those detected by human hearing. And you may be familiar with some of the uses of ultrasound or sonic waves. For example, in the 20 to 40 kilohertz region, this is what we use to treat jewelry, the devices used to clean jewelry. Physical therapy uses the 1 to 3 megahertz range, liposonics the 3 megahertz range, and medical imaging technologies use 2 to 20 megahertz frequencies to see the details of a, a baby in utero. Althera or Altherapy targets the 4 to 7 megahertz region. Ultrasonic vibration energy, from a mathematical point of view, can be summed up in three sections, whether or not it provides thermal injury, cavitational injury, or mechanical injury. Sound waves used to heat the tissues to 20 to 40 degrees Celsius can result in denaturation of tissues. If the sound waves produce temperatures up to 60 to 70 degrees, you will have coagulation necrosis, and this is the target temperature for Althera and Altherapy. If you go beyond that, up to 100 degrees Celsius, one gets vaporization, and vaporization can produce cavitation injury. This is to be avoided. The geometrically focused energy can be very precisely administered. As you can see right here, in this diagram, it's 1.8 millimeters in height. 95% of the focused energy will be uh, focused within this region. On histology, for example, using this device on pig skin, you can see here a very precise deep injury, 2.8 millimeters below the surface of the skin and 1.4 millimeters in length. In this example here, you can see that it's 4.5 millimeters deep, and there's a spacing of about 1.5 millimeters in each of these little discrete thermocoagulation points. On this side, you can see that it's 3 millimeters deep and 1 millimeter separation. So for many years, we've been using ultrasound for imaging, particularly during pregnancy. You can see here a good example of medical imaging for a child in utero. Now, if we can take those sound waves and focus them very, very discreetly into a single point, one can produce thermocoagulation points. Right here, you can see that we can lay down a series of focal points by focusing those sound waves at specific levels of penetration. Another big advantage to Althera is the fact that you can directly visualize the tissues themselves. For example, this is the exact image that you would see on the forehead and we can very easily see the frontalis bone, 
the fibromuscular layer. Now this is the same type of layer that the plastic surgeons would target for doing facelifts or brow lifts. Deep subcutaneous tissue and we can avoid hitting these areas of fat laden tissues and the dermis. So Althera can treat very specific depths. We can target the dermis, we can be sure to avoid areas of fat, or we can hit fascial layers, the superficial muscular aponeurotic system, also known as the SMAS. And this is what the plastic surgeons use to do facelifts. Althera is the first and only energy-based system that is FDA approved for inducing lift. It fills a void in energy-based non-surgical treatments by providing precision, accurate depth, and direct visualization. Part 2 will go over some examples of before and after photographs and show you some more about the device itself.